She keeps on telling me that I'm not her sister, but she doesn't know. This situation wasn't my fault. I was adopted as a child. Our father just died 31 days ago, and this and she wants me to get the DNA test. This really hurts me. I'm still grieving because me and him had this close bond. I went there to see him in the hospital before he died. I went there. I don't know what she's saying about me, but I know for myself I'm a good person. It pisses me off that she's questioning whether I'm her sister or not. I was there for him the day that he died. I was there in the hospital talking to him, praying with him, not her. She thinks that my mom is lying about him being my dad, but I'm going to prove her wrong. Everyone, Keisha's here with me today. Welcome, Keisha, to the show. Hi. Okay, Hi. so what do you, how do you feel about what she I, was I, saying? She's full of it. Like, she's straight full of it, and she doesn't know if my daddy is her dad or not. She, I don't even think she knows who herself mm. right now at this point. So how did, how did you find out she was saying that she was your sister? M one of my family members contacted me and said that she was running around saying that she was my sister. And then another family member, you know, came up to me and called me and told me that she ran up to them saying that she was my sister. Got it. Did you, did you ever ask your father about what she said? Yes, I did. Me and my father had a couple of conversations about that. And my father told me that she was not his daughter. Mm. And I told my dad that he needed to get a DNA test. But my my daddy passed away. Got it. Okay. Had you ever heard about her before? I have heard. I just found out about her, what, last year? Mm. Not even. Got it. And that was the first Never time. heard about her before. Where you come from? Poof, be gone. Mm. Please just be gone. Mm. And what happened when y'all met? When I met her, I looked at her and I told her, girl, there's no way that we are siblings. We don't even look alike. And mm. I don't even feel it. Like, with my, my other, my, my brother, I feel it. You know, I'm good with feelings. I, with her, I have no feeling, no nothing. Like, even when I look at her, there's nothing there. It's just like, girl, be gone. Go find your dad, because my dad is not your dad. So, I, I, and I, I, I'm going to bring this up gently, because I know your father just passed away four weeks ago. Yes, he did. So, I'm sorry. I know you're still grieving that. Thank you. Um, have you had communication with her since your father's passing? No, I have not. Not at all? None at all. Yeah. So she was saying that she was with him in that video on his last days. Is that true? No. I, w I went to the hospital with my dad. When my dad passed away, I was flying in because the doctors and everybody kept calling me. The doctor, you know, came out, got me or whatever, and my dad, they still had my dad laying in the room waiting for me to get there. She wasn't there. And you were close with your father growing up. What was Very. That what was that relationship like? Very. Me and my daddy had a very good relationship. Um, we laughed, talked, um, vacations. I went to his house, uh, little girlfriends and stuff that he had. I went by their house. Mm -hmm. uh, everything. Yeah. So that really close relationship has been forever. Yes. Yeah. Um, oh, that's you and your father. That's a photo of y'all. Yes. Yeah. And that was at my mother's my, my mother's funeral because my mother passed away September 4th. My dad passed away September 3rd. Mm. What would you do if she is your sister? If she is my sister, then I would have to accept the fact that she is my sister, but, you know, and I don't know. I just, and I don't not, know. And if she's not your sister? She needs to go find her daddy. Well, everyone, I want to hear what Cortiza has to say about this. So everyone, help me welcome Cortiza to the show. All right. Welcome to the show. Thank you. I don't know what you're crying for. You ain't because got no I'm need to be crying. Because I'm only going by what my, mo my mom said. I don't said. care what your mom said. It, that's, my dad is not your dad, so you don't need to come out here with all that fake stuff. And you talk about you was at the hospital and all that. Girl, where were you? My mother called me and where I went were to the you? hospital. When? Don't sit up there and lie. I'm Come not up lying. on this TV show trying to I act like you were doing something. Where I'm was you when the cremation? Where was you when I sat there at the hospital? Where was you when I had to go down there to cremate him and pay for it? Where were you? Where were you when I went to go get the death certificate? Do you have it? No. no I don't. Because it ain't your dad. So I gotta ask you, she's, she's asking some valid questions. If you say that you were there, where were you there? Where were you in those moments? When my mom called me and said that he was in the hospital, I dropped everything and I went to the hospital. You need to stop lying because I, like I'm telling you, I flew, the doctors called me, everybody was calling me for daddy. That's why I had to come down here 
because I had say so of what went on with my daddy. So don't you sit up here and lie and try to make it seem like you, you his child and all this other stuff. Girl, you're not. Go find your daddy. I, all I, Go find I'm your daddy. I'm just going by my what my mother said. Why do you think her father is your father? You That's said what your mother. my mother told me. Okay. I was adopted. So when I got 18, I went looking for my mom. I found her and I asked her, who is my father? And that's when she said. Well, his you name. need to tell your mom to tell you the truth because my dad is not your dad. So well, you've been searching for family your entire life. Yes. Mm hmm And when you found out that this man could potentially be your fa father, did you did you ever meet him? Did you have a relationship with him? Yes, I did. You met him. I, and I really thought he was my father. Yeah. Because of what she you said. Didn't have no okay. relationship. How did you find your mother? Sitting up there lying. Because there was a lady that where I was living at, she knew where she was. She where knew Where your her. biological mother was. Yes. Mm -hmm. So she gave me the number and I called her and that's when I met her yeah. for the first time. And that's when I asked her these questions. Yeah. Well, okay. sure seems like y'all don't have no type of relationship for it to be your mama and y'all supposed to have been meeting. Um, I don't know what you got going on. And, and uh, my producer told me that you said that your biological mother got back with your, your father three years ago? Three years ago. No. Did, no. Did you know about that? My daddy made it came and hit it or something like that and left. <laughs> but no, my daddy was not with your mama. They was not in no serious relationship. My daddy was not living with your mama. So stop lying. Stop lying. So tell me, what did your mother say about that time they were together? She said um, that he was the love of her life. That's what she told and me. And that's what I say I think it is, that your mama loved my daddy so mm -hmm. much or like my daddy that she won a child by my daddy, but you was not my daddy child. When did you meet him? I met him in 2001. Okay. And when did you find out about Keisha? He had told me about her when I first met him. Did you try to reach out to her? No, I didn't. Why not? Because I'm, I'm a shy person. What did you want to happen today? I want to get these results, and if, if I am, I want to have a relationship with her. Mm, okay, I understand that, I understand that. And you're open to that to some degree? Mm. Okay. I don't know. Got it, I understand. Got it, I understand, I understand. Listen, everyone, it looks like we're getting a ping. Before the show, Cortez's mother, Evelyn, had something to say, so take a listen to this. I met Arthur Harper when I was 17. I was young, and he was the love of my life. I got pregnant by him, and I had to give Cortisa up for adoption because I was young at the time. We connected three years ago, and I was with him up until the day he died. I, he will always be the love of my life. And that is Cortez's dad. He kept telling her he don't care what people say, but that's his child. I know that there's a lot here, but I got to tell you this. I saw when that your mother started talking that, here you go. I saw a little girl that's been adopted and been through a lot. I saw that immediately when you heard your mother talking. This, is, this has been a journey for you. It's very hard. Yeah. It's such pain. Um, I, I understand how you feel because you lost your father and then this person pops out of nowhere. What's going on in your mind right now? All I ever wanted was just somebody to love me for me. So you choose my dad? So it's time for us to get to the truth. And in this envelope is a DNA truth if you two are actually sisters. You asked for this DNA test? So I'm going to have you open it so that you can see it. I don't know if I want to open it. You don't know if you want to open it? This is the truth and the clarity you've been waiting for. Here you go, love. <sighs> you got this. Keisha Cortisa is your biological sister.
Cortezza, what's going on in your mind right now? It is a relief. Yeah. It really is. I have to apologize to you. I'm going to be a woman and apologize to you. And I apologize to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. I don't know what she's looking for um, because, you know, she has tried to reach out before. I don't know what you're looking for, but all mm -hmm. I can do is just say we can just start day by day. That's right. Take it day by day. Yes, we can. As me being your sister, I don't know. Am I the oldest? I don't know. Yes, you're the oldest. <laughs> <laughs> you're the big sister. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. you are. <laughs> do you have any other siblings? Yes, but they're all younger than me. Got it. Yes, I got don't me have, my big I sister. I, I, I'm the only child, um, yeah. but my dad has another son. Yeah, got But it. from my mom and my dad, I'm the only child. And at least now from here, y'all can connect. And I'll tell you something. I know you had your brother, but it sounds like you never had a sister, and it sounds like there was not real siblings and real connection in her life. There's something about yes. this bond that could be really beautiful. That's all I ever wanted was a big sister. Oh. And I got what I wanted. Now, now I understand, because this is a special moment. I need to tell you as well. Mm -hmm. This is going to take some time. Yes, it is. It's going to be. It's going to be a process. Mm -hmm. So, in those moments when you feel like I want the relationship to go faster, just know, love comes. Love sometimes is slower. Okay. Yes. So just take your time and just know that as long as y'all can keep communicating, as long as, as long as, like I say at the end of every show, as long as y'all can keep talking, y'all yes. will grow together. Okay. Yeah, so good luck to y'all. All right. Thank you, Colombo. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. I wish y'all the best of luck, seriously. I wish you the best of luck. Yeah. Yeah, man, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. I wish you the best Thank of luck you. as well. Good luck, good luck. You can give your sister a hug, one more hug. Yeah. Want more Unlocked Phones, DNA Reveals, and Family Drama? Then make sure you're subscribed to the Karamo Show YouTube.